Hello. In this video, I'm going to talk about uh, some synthesis of substituted arenes, uh, working through some more complicated examples that hopefully uh, combine several of the topics from the earlier videos in this series. In my first example, we're going to talk about uh, synthesizing orthopropyl benzonitrile from benzene. Uh, and so this looks like it might be pretty straightforward. They're only adding two functional groups, but there's a couple of tricks that we need to, to be aware of. First thing that we want to do is look at these two groups and break down their uh, directing sort of powers. Uh, and so the propyl group is an ortho para director. The, I always write those. Let's, let's, let's write this out ortho para. The, the nitrile is a meta director. So, you know, and there's an ortho relationship between them. So we might want to put the propyl group on first, nitrile second. So then we need to do, we need to look at adding the propyl group because it's not as straightforward as you might expect uh, because you know, we can't just, for example, take one chloropropane and aluminum trichloride and expect to get a good uh, yield of the chloro or propyl benzene because this has the un unfortunate habit of rearranging. So in another video else elsewhere on aromatic substitution, I shared that the way around this problem is to instead, to instead of using chloropropane, we need to use the, the acyl chloride and we would get the, and we would get the ketone instead. And the ketone is a meta director. So this is important to, to note at the moment. And we can reduce the ketone to the hydrocarbon using zinc mercury amalgam and hydrochloric acid. So this is the Clemenson reduction. And we have, so this would give us propyl benzene. The other thing I want to do before we talk about is, before we go any further, is talk about adding the nitrile. Adding the nitrile. Because again, the, nit the nitrile is a functional group that can't be added directly. You know, it looks pretty straightforward, but we can't add it directly. Uh, so in order to get the nitrile, and I actually want to start. Let me go uh, select. Let me go. Let me go grab part of this structure up here, so I don't have to keep. The nitrile can actually be synthesized from the. The diazo salt using copper cyanide, and that is not copper cyanide. I don't know what that is. There we go. And the, the diazo compound, so that, that, so this is like N2 plus chloride minus this ionic compound going on here can be converted into the, to the nitrile and you make this compound from the amine using not sodium nobelium, sodium nitrite and hydrochloric acid. That's, that is made from aniline. And this already seems pretty lengthy, but it's what we gotta do. And then aniline is made, aniline can't be made directly from benzene. So we have one additional, we need to go back one step farther to nitrobenzene, which finally is a structure that can be made from benzene. Just let me change the, the substituent. Right, nitrobenzene can be made by nitrating benzene, nitric acid, sulfuric acid. And so let's see, meta, ortho, para, don't know. Meta. Right. 
In the last video I shared, they probably want to put on, you want to put on whatever substituent uh, it reinforces the substitution pattern you want. But we actually have two different ortho para uh, functional groups. I, I, have a, I have a strong desire to choose to put the propyl group on first and then go through the steps of putting on the, the nitro group and reducing to the amine because I actually know that the reaction I'm going to need that would need to go from the propyl from the aniline to the to the to the next compound would have trouble because uh, other, well, it would just have some trouble because there's some acid base reactions that could occur. All right, so I actually want to start my forward synthesis by putting the propyl group on first. This gives me an ortho para director uh, that I can work with, but this isn't good enough as it so uh, is because we need to get something here at the ortho position and ortho para groups tend to prefer the meta or I'm sorry ortho para groups tend to prefer the para like I had two choices and I picked neither of them uh, para and over ortho so we need to block the ortho we need to block the para position so that we can feel pretty good about doing a reaction and then ending up at ortho. The, the other reason that I didn't want to deal with, uh, right, so putting on this sulfuric a sulfonic acid group is going to misbehave with the uh, aniline present because the aniline's a base in this sulfuric acid. It's also going to create trouble on that we now would have a deactivated ring and the, the friedel crafts reaction might misbehave. Now we have an, a ring with an ortho para director, a meta director, both of them hit pointing in the same spot. We can do the nitration. We're going to end up with nitro group here. Now we can safely remove the, the sulfonic acid blocking group. We don't need it anymore. I mean, we could leave it on for a little while, but, but might as well get rid of it at the immediate point. We no longer need it. And then we have our nitro group. So we can take this nitro group through the sequence of reagents that make the nitrile. Of course, I need to, to move things around a little bit, make room for the propyl group. So let's see. Drag this up here. So we reduce the nitro group to the amine. Uh, we react it with sodium nitrate, sodium nitrite and hydrochloric acid to make the diazo salt. To we react the diazo salt with copper cyanide. And that replaces the, the, the diazo group with the cyanide. Here it is that starting from, from here on down, this is my full synthesis. And it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight steps. Now out there amongst you, there might be some folks who can... Uh, I think of a, uh, an improved way that maybe has a step or two fewer, but this is this is one way that's going to work out. Is there another answer to this problem? Almost certainly, uh, but this is one way that works out. In the next video, I'm going to do uh, one more example, uh, focusing on putting on three substituents. Okay. Thank you for watching.